Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I'm back and this time with an updated iPad tour. It's back to school season and I know a lot of students like yourself may own an iPad, but let's be honest, you might not be using it to its full potential. I filmed a video like this earlier in the year, but after watching a lot of iPad tours, I realized that I wasn't really using my iPad to its full potential. If you're one of those students that ended up buying an iPad to be productive, but ended up using it to binge watch shows and scroll on TikTok, then don't worry because in this video, I'm going to walk you through my updated functional iPad setup and basically show you how to turn your iPad into an aesthetic productivity machine. Right, so this is my lovely iPad lock screen. My wallpaper, I actually made myself. Guess what my favorite color is? It's pink, if you didn't realize. So if we go over to the side here, there's loads of widgets. In my last iPad setup, I didn't have any of this because I didn't even know you could do this. So up here, this is a calendar widget. It's just so I can see exactly what's coming up next as soon as I open my iPad. Then if we go down, I have a widget from an app called Todoist and it just shows me all the tasks I have to do for the day. This is a little fun widget here. It's from this app called Photo Widget that I use for all my little photos that you'll see on my home screen. Then here's another widget. This one is functional and it's from Todoist. And when I click it, it allows me to add a new task to my to-do list and it will add it straight into the inbox. Right, so if I click this, I can quickly type a new item to do here and it will add it straight into my inbox. Then down here, I've got a widget from the weather app and it just shows me the current temperature and what it's like outside. So it's currently windy and 11 degrees, not very nice. And then I have a widget here to show me my battery percentage. This is more useful when I have my headphones on because I can quickly see how much battery my AirPod Maxes have left. And then here is the last widget here, which is again from Photo Widget, I believe. And it just adds some little doggy footsteps, which is really cute. So when I open up my iPad, this is what my home screen looks like. As you can see, like the first big thing you can see is this calendar widget up here. I think it's the biggest widget that you can add from the calendar. And it's just so I can see my entire, well, not entire week, but the next few days at a glance. As you can see, I'm currently on my reading week. So I have quite a bit of time, which is why I'm filming this video. Then if you look over here, this is my Todoist widget. And it basically shows everything I have to do from the day. There's currently nothing here because I haven't added anything to my to-do list. I usually use it for things I need to do in terms of studying. I've added um, something to do to my to-do list just so you can see See what it looks like and then if we go over here this is my battery widget and it shows me how much battery i've got left and then over here this is a notion widget and it allows me to quickly access my life dashboard over here i've got some two non-functional widgets they're just cute little photos of some dogs that i found using photo widget and i thought it just added a little bit of personality to my home screen over here is my most useful widget i made this using the shortcuts app and basically it allows me to switch between different modes on my ipad like this is the best like addition i've added to my setup when i click on each focus mode i can change the view of my home screen to suit the focus mode i'll elaborate on that later so on to the apps so i've got my bible app here netflix and youtube i've got the rest of my apps grouped into these little sections here this is all my study and productivity apps as you probably noticed my app icons look a little bit different to the regular app logos because i've actually gone and made my own app logo and customized them myself if you'd like to use them there'll be a link in my description below where you can access these app icons for yourself so these are my productivity apps if i click in this one these are my med school related apps so i've got blackboard which is what our university uses my progress which is i think it's an app specifically for our university but it's just to do with portfolio and things like that i've got zoom teams here notability anki quesmed and microsoft authenticator and then in here i've got all my creativity and youtube stuff and then in here this is all like my little fun apps i don't have many on my ipad as you can tell because 
I still try to keep it quiet, university and productivity related. So I've got Spotify, Messages. This is actually a coloring book app. I've got the books app and then I've got Disney Plus and this little pizza game that you might have seen me playing in some of my study blogs. Then over here, I've got kind of like my search engine slash settings stuff like system stuff so this is like chrome safari settings app store find my and shortcuts so that is my main home screen some apps i don't put on my home screen because i don't really feel like i need them to be on my home screen because i don't use them as much so if i swipe to the side all my apps are organized in apple's app library here and if there's anything else i need to use that's not in my home screen i can just swipe to the side search or find it here now on to this little widget here which is actually my focus modes so let's start by looking at study if i click on study like i said earlier it changes the apps that are on my home screen let me go ahead and click on it and now i've got a completely different view of my home screen so whenever i need to study i put this focus mode on and it just makes using my ipad less distracting when i'm studying this focus mode is also linked to my iphone so it changes the apps i can see on my iphone as well which is really good as you can see i've got some different widgets here and some apps that are on display here i've got my calendar again over here i've got my favorite notion pages just for quick access i've got another cute little widget here this one is non-functional it's just for aesthetic purposes and then i've got my pomodoro timer if i click this it starts a pomodoro timer i use the app focus pomo for that and yeah it allows me to have little widgets where i can start a pomodoro timer and then again i've got my to-do list here so i can see exactly what i need to do i've got my drive here because i actually use google docs to write all my notes so i have drive here so i can quickly access any notes i need to so these are the apps that i mainly use to study so i've got anki quesmed notion chrome outlook and i've got chat gpt of course blackboard and my progress and now if i click on the edit study mode it changes my view again and it's brought out all the apps that i need whenever i'm editing youtube videos i primarily use my ipad to edit videos i don't use my laptop so i thought this focus mode was necessary for me so i've got youtube here youtube studio luma fusion which is what i used to edit davinci which i'm planning to use canva chat gpt photos and pinterest i've got a pomodoro timer here as well sometimes i put it on to help me just lock in and edit i've got my youtube notion page here for easy access i've got my calendar and two cute little widgets here just to fill up space and yeah, that is my edit focus mode. And then if I press the home focus mode, it brings me back to my home screen. And this one is just the default focus mode. I have it when I don't need to study or edit. I just want to use my iPad. And yeah, those are all the different focus modes. And that pretty much sums up my entire iPad setup. So now that I've shown you my iPad setup, I'm going to show you exactly how to customize your iPad yourself. First, let me show you how to customize the lock screen. All you need to do is hold down on the screen and then press customize and then press lock screen. As you can see, you can customize the different areas of the lock screen. You can customize the date and you can customize the time. So if you click on the time, you can change the font, you can change like the thickness and you can change the color as well. But I like to have mine kind of match the background. Over here is where you can add all the widgets. I'm gonna go to a blank space over here and I'm gonna click. So once you click up and um, this screen comes up, you can browse through different apps to add any kind of widget that you want. If I go to Focus Pomo, I can find the size widget that's gonna fit in there. I can click on this and it will bring the widget up here. And then you can move it around like wherever you please. You can play around with that to your liking. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to actually make these different focus modes. And then I'll show you how to make the app icons. To create this little folder of focus modes and to make the app icon, you use an app called Shortcuts. But first of all, I'm gonna show you how to make the app focus modes so that you can set them up in Shortcuts. So if we go to settings, and then go to focus here you can see all my different focus modes i'm going to create a new one called tutorial just to show you so if i press the plus up here 
and create a custom focus mode, I'm gonna name it tutorial. You can change the emoji and you can change the color. So this is my tutorial focus. And what you can do is you can actually customize the focus. So you can choose the people you wanna allow. For example, in my study focus mode, only certain people can text me and only certain apps can give me notifications. And you can actually schedule when you want these focus modes to turn on. But yeah, that's how you create a focus mode. Now let me show you how to link a focus mode to a wallpaper and lock screen. So if I go to wallpapers here, as you can see, I've got different wallpapers and they're all the same. You can have different wallpapers and lock screens if you want for each focus mode, but I prefer to have the same one. I'm just more focused on having different apps showing up rather than different wallpapers. If I create a new one, so I'm going to go into photos and I'm going to use the same lock screen and home screen that I currently use. So this is the lock screen. I'm going to add that and I'll choose a different one for my home screen. And then, and then I press done up here. And there we go, I've set a new lock screen and home screen. So if I press customize over here, I would add all the same widgets that I use for all of my lock screen. Now to link it to a focus mode, I'm gonna go to focus and I'm gonna tap tutorial and then I'm going to choose a custom screen. So I'll choose the one I've just created, which is this one. I can't choose a home page yet because we haven't made it. So now I'm going to show you how to make a home page to go with the lock screen. If I hold the home screen and I press edit and I press edit pages, as you can see, I have different home pages and only the home screen one is selected. If I select all of them, I'd be able to just scroll through all the pages, but I don't want that. So in order to make a new page, I'm just going to swipe to the side. I'm going to add one of these apps to the page just so that the page doesn't delete when I come out of editing. So now I have a new page and I'm going to press edit, edit pages. And now you're going to see that you have a fourth page. So I'm going to unselect that page because I don't want it showing up in my home focus and then press done. So now that page is gone. So I'm going to go back to settings in focus and I'm going to choose a home page and I'm going to choose this one to be my home page for my tutorial focus. I'm going to press done. Now I'm going to show you how to actually get the button that you can click so that it will open the page. So if I go to shortcuts, I have this folder called focus modes. You need to make sure that you make these shortcuts within a folder because that's how it works. To make a new folder, you press this icon down here and you create a new folder called focus modes. I already have a folder, so I'm not gonna make one. So once you click inside the folder, this is where you're gonna put your focus modes. You're gonna press the plus button up here, rename the shortcut which you want. So I'm gonna call mine tutorial. That's what is gonna show on the button on the home screen. Now we're gonna search actions. We're gonna search focus and we're gonna click set focus. So this is what's gonna happen when I press the button. So it's gonna turn do not disturb off. That's not what we want it to do. We want it to turn tutorial on until, yeah, until I turn it off. And we can change the icon to suit what tutorial is, a jigsaw puzzle. Okay, if we go back to home page, tutorial's been added and when I click it, it's gonna open tutorial. Now, let me show you how to actually add the buttons onto your home screen. So as you can see, I'm in tutorial focus, but it doesn't have all the focus modes. So if I hold down my home screen, edit, add widget, search up shortcuts, and then we can add our shortcuts. In the edit mode, you wanna click this and change the folder to focus modes. And then that's what's gonna show up here. And if you press home, it will take us back to home. So now I'm gonna quickly show you how to make the home focus because it's a little bit different. So if I click on my home focus, so if I delete this and just so I can show you from the beginning, I go to focus get current focus because I want to use whatever current focus is on for example study or edit I want to get that so it knows this is the focus I'm in and then I'm going to click set focus so it's going to get the current focus that it's in and then it's going to turn the current focus 
off. When it's turned off, it's just gonna go back to my home screen. If I go to study and I press home, it takes me back to my home screen. I'm gonna go back to tutorial and I'm gonna show you how to customize your screen. Let's start by adding some widgets. So if I press edit and I add a widget, if I go to calendar, you can add different types of calendars to your home screen. I'm gonna add the very big one like I did in mine and put it over here. So as you can see, I've got a big calendar widget on my home screen. That's how you add widgets from any app that you please. You can add one from Drive, add one from Focus Pomo. Pretty much most apps support widgets, even your emails. Now I'm gonna show you how to add the custom app icons. We'll start with Drive actually, since it's already up there. If I go to shortcuts again, and I just go to all shortcuts, these are all the app shortcuts I've made. So I'm gonna create a new one for tutorial sake. If I press plus up here, you don't have to name it, but it does help when you're coming to edit them. And when I click this icon, I want it to open the app, Google Drive. To add this to our home screen, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the icon up here, add to home screen. And I'm gonna remove the name because I don't like the look of it. I'm gonna click the picture icon here and choose photo. Okay, so I just realized I don't have the drive icon on my iPad, so I'm gonna do a different app. So instead of opening drive, I'm gonna have it open Anki. And I'll get my Anki icon, which is here, use. And that is my Anki little icon. And if I press add here, it adds it nicely to my tutorial lock screen. And to remove icons, like app icons from your home screen, you just press this button here and don't delete the app, but remove from home screen. And then when I press it, it's gonna open Anki as a shortcut. And that's how you add the custom app icons. So again, if you want to use these app icons yourself, make sure you click the link down below in the description so you can use these app icons for yourself. Yeah, that is pretty much it for the video, guys. If you found the video useful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you're here. And comment down below whether or not you knew about these focus modes because I didn't know for a long time. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.